Wagwan. I'm back again today with another one. Today here we have some limestone installation. It's gonna be a fun video. Here I'm gonna try to go over the basic of how to install limestone. If this is something that you're willing to learn and understand the magnitude of how to do it. So here I start by laying my first stone onto my concrete ledge. Your first stone is the most important stone, the one that goes onto your foundation. So you wanna take your time. Don't try to do it in any form of rush. You wanna level, you wanna square, you wanna make sure everything is right. It's just like building a house if you don't have a sound foundation. The house will collapse in the future. It's just the same of laying your stone here. You want to make sure that the first stone that you lay, the measurement is accurate, it's level, it's square. Once you get all of that right, then it's going to be a smooth run to bring the entire wall up with no problem. Now here, as you see here, I level my stone, I level it across, that is the same result as in plumbing it. Once we lay a few stone, we're going to go ahead and run a line in the corner to use as a gauge or as a guide to maintain the straightness of the corner. Here I measure from the wall to the edge of my stone just so that we have the same measurement on this side and over the other side of the hole. So once we finish this side, we can move over to the other side knowing that we're going to have a square going right across. The measurement that we typically goes with is between four and a half to four and three quarter from the wall, which the ply wall to the edge of the stone. That way you have a breathing space at the back of your, of your wall. So there I was just measuring just to mark out the wall so that way we can go with a ban. Once we go above the garage door, we're going to have full stone running right across. So there I was just um, measuring to see the best pattern I can work with or the best band I can work with in order to get it to go with a full stone go across. Now as you see I have a cut stone underneath the bottom of, of the big one here. The reason for that is because I measure from the top of the garage so that way once I reach up to the garage I can go across with a full stone. You always want to measure from the garage down so that way instead of you have a cut above the garage you put the cut right on the bottom there. So if you want to do that the best way to do it is to measure the width of your stone which in my case it's 12 inches. You want to measure 12 inches from the top of the garage maybe step up quarter inch or half an inch so that way you don't go flush with the garage door. You always want to have a quarter inch space underneath the bottom. Once you know the measurement of your stone, you measure 12 inches, you mark half an inch to three inch joint, and you keep on mark that right until you can measure to get a full size stone. The remaining measurement that you have from the last 12 inches to the bottom of where the foundation ledge is, you measure that pieces and that's what, and that's the size that we, le we left back with here. And so once we go up, we're gonna have all full ones reach up to the top of the garage door. Here I'm just measuring go across just to make sure that I have it right. I like to measure twice. So measure twice, cut once. I'm the type of guy who don't like mistakes. So I try my best at most of the time to measure a few times just to eliminate as mistake as possible as I can. This type of stone, it's very heavy. So you want to use a lot of brick ties when you're in installing um, limestone. Some of them is maybe lighter, but this one that I'm doing right now, it's, it's super heavy. So almost every coast I lay stone, I put a brick tie there. It only takes me five seconds to install the brick ties. It's not taking any crazy amount of time. Once you put the brick ties at the end, usually there is a stud at the end. You don't have to worry about if it's into the studs because you want to make sure that you get it into a studs so that way you know that it's solid. So here I level straight away and I level across that just to maintain the plumbness of the wall. 
and if you keep doing that you probably don't even need a line at the edge of the wall to maintain the straightness because we're going with measurement and we also plumb and level them but for me I always want to have a, a line just to make sure that your, your corner is nice and straight here at the corner you see I have a corner block running go across I measure this end here four and three quarter and I measure four and three quarter at the other end over there so that way this side is square with this side over here so it's very important to take a measurement go across to make sure that both wall is square with each other so once I measure from the top of my garage door come across this is where the full one meet where you say I have the awful one here so once I come across I'm gonna come across with all full stone so that's where the bun is so it's important for your first stone onto the foundation ledge to put some brick tie just so that it's more sturdy down in the bottom there right beside our garage door here I put a template just so that way I can maintain the straightness of the stone here you always want to step away around 1 8 quarter inches away from where your garage door is going to be just for caulking space and if they have to re uh, replace the, the garage door in the future it won't um, encounter with the stone it be pretty simple and straightforward to remove the garage door without damaging your stone here I'm installing some brick ties you always want to put the nail in the last hole in the bottom of the brick ties it all more stronger in my opinion a lot of guys tend to just put the nail way up high because it's easier for them but I've, I've done the test before just to prove a point before with one of my guys that who love to put brick ties way up high and from then he just keep on put it in the bottom so guys if you're doing it just change it up a little bit even if it's a little bit difficult to put it in the bottom at times just put it in the bottom do the right things and the right things will be started you know so if you practice a bad habit you know you only want to practice a bad habit for like three weeks and afterwards it's gonna be a part of you you know what i mean and to get rid of a bad habit can take up to 10 years so it's better to always practice to do things the right way rather than just short and and then it become part of you and then you just go around doing all type of shitty work so do the right thing this model that i'm using is a federal white model at the time of this video the model was drying a bit fast so you might see we here drying it every now and again if you wait too long to join this model here it's gonna leave with a black color so it's gonna give you a black look so you don't want to wait until it's dry before you go ahead and join it laying your stone beside your brick wall you always want to leave some brick tie hang out that way it can tie with the stone wall every four brick I have a brick tie that way we can it's every four brick or so we have a brick ties there that way you can hanker it just bend it over onto the stone that way the stone wall and the brick wall tie with each other it's very important whenever you're doing your brick wall to always leave out some brick tie to join with your stone wall and guys if you get involved from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming video like this one.
this is where it's finished guys they're gonna put stucco from here on up We have to go. We just have to do this and then join it and then go. Okay. Up top. No. Level. Now we're checking for smoke. I'm just missing you. 